hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute so i'm not even gonna hold y'all thank y'all for coming back if you're new welcome and let's get into this video one thing about it i know a bottle of developer had to see me coming okay so real quick before we really get started with the color i am gonna go ahead and cut my undercut and don't worry i know i've been saying this probably since like last year even probably before that but i am going to give y'all the undercut horror story i'm not the type of person that tells story like right when it happened i let time pass and then i tell them so i think i'm about ready to tell that story so we gonna tell that story soon if i can find my guards i'm gonna go in with the one guard if i can't i'm just gonna use the clippers like how it is open and just call it a day like i'm not really too worried about my undercut right now i don't think i'm gonna be doing any designs in it at this moment because y'all don't know i am in a brace after my cast and i can't really do too much manipulation so i really don't even know i'm gonna do this video with the color but it's time for a new color and i can't wait no more so yeah let me go ahead and cut my undercut and i'll be right back but what i'm gonna do first is just take some vaseline and line the perimeter of the side that's not being colored and my undercut just so if any color runs down or any bleach runs to that side it won't be as bad and i can kind of fix it instead of it just being a blonde patch of hair so yes vaseline is always my trick for that Normally I don't lift the color to get a new color. The way that I want to go about doing this today is a little bit different. So hopefully I can do that the right way today. I'm going to save this for if I really, really need it. Red is a hard color to get out. This is basically a shade of red. So I don't know if it's going to be completely gone, but it really doesn't have to be because whatever I'm putting on top, like it'll still, I think it'll still be cute. That's how I used to do my hair colors. I just put new colors on top of old ones it made new colors it faded to pretty colors so i ain't really trimming too much but i do want to get this pink as light as possible so i'm just gonna wait on this joyco because i've never used it and i don't want to do too much today i don't want to do too much today do too much today it was at this moment that she knew she fucked up but i am first going to just bleach my roots so this is the formula today i'm gonna use one part lightener to two parts developer i really don't know why this ratio is the ratio that it is or like the universal ratio for mixing developer with lightener because it's not a lot like i have a lot of hair and it's like the ratios are only for like people with pixie cuts or something i don't understand so usually i just double it <laughs> you know i had to double it <laughs> i'm going to apply this as best as i can without overlapping to the pink and we're gonna go from there oh, i'm scared i always get nervous when i start but i just have to do a very good job of not overlapping to the pink Ooh, what did i get myself into And this is why I use 20 because as you can see, the back hasn't turned yet. So by the time this is done and I do a little incubation, it should all process at the same time. So this is what we're working with. It's all distributed through my hair. I did go back through and just touch up anything that looks a little dark for the time it's been processing without trying to overlap onto the pink because I will be doing a bleach bath and I don't want the bleach bath to break my hair off if it's overlapped a little bit. The roots are processed to my liking and we're gonna get into this next step. So I'm gonna take some of this Restore Vitamin Treatment from Design Essentials. I used this last time I colored my hair pink and I feel like that's the only reason why I have even a little bit of curl slash wave in my hair. So before I do the bleach bath, I'm going to add this to my hair because I'm going to try to protect my hair as much as I can with doing all this processing. Let me apply this and then we'll get into the bleach bath. Yeah, because you can see it just, my curls just forming back. Well, my crinkles because they ain't curls no more, but... <laughs> 
I'm about to change my name to Frizzy Crinkles. The ends need a little work. I think my earrings are probably done for, but they do form a little wave here and there. Okay, now moving on to the bleach bath. I'm gonna use equal parts of everything. I'm gonna use equal parts of lightener powder. I'm gonna use equal parts of developer and I'm gonna use equal parts of clarifying shampoo. So yeah, I just spilled all of my lightener on the floor. One thing about it, my video is gonna be in shambles. So if you wanna see some shambles, I'm your girl. Also, my camera is about to die, so I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can. So I'm not sure if it's because I'm going blue, but if y'all recall from the last time, we're kinda in the same boat. I had blonde roots and pink ends. The bleach bath was a fail, so we're gonna try something new today. So just to treat my hair a little bit overnight, I used this repair mask from Briagio, Briogio. Not quite sure how to say it, but I actually like their product so far. I am going to use the original plan. We're going back to the original plan. I should have just done this to begin with. Now the hair color eraser packet does say don't do it on shampooed hair, but listen, I am in a predicament right now. This literally just looks like bleach, like a bleach packet. Cause out of all the things I needed on this cup, the ounces want to be the thing to rub off. Like I don't know what milliliters and how many milliliters. I didn't get oh, that. Shit. Well, how many milliliters is three ounces? It's 88.72 milliliters. Okay, so this goes to a 75 milliliter cup. So I need to do, what is it, 88? I need to do 13 after this. Okay, I can do that. This is literally just bleach. Like, Joyco, you ain't fooling nobody. But I hear a lot of great things about Joyco, so I ain't gonna talk too much. However, this is just a bleach packet. Yeah, this is literally just a bleach packet. I'm gonna keep saying this, cause like, why is y'all playing? I probably should stay away from the ends first. But at this point, I don't have time to waste an experiment, so we're just gonna go for it. Okay, just for a little update, Joyco also did not work. I'm currently putting on this second hair mask from Briogeo, 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 however you pronounce it. And I was just gonna say F it, I'm gonna just put the color on top of this, but no, I want this pink blonde. So I'm gonna do an at-home remedy because clearly the salon quality products do not work. My ends are done for. I'm gonna just have to revive them back to life once I get my new color. Oh my God, I look so crazy. But y'all already know how I gets down. It ain't gonna look like this by the end of this video. <laughs> so yeah, and if this video was on YouTube, obviously it came out half decent. So yeah. I'm determined to get my hair blonde today. So what we're gonna do today is a home remedy. I've seen this done on blue hair, green hair, purple hair, pink hair. So clearly it gotta work for this. This has faded from what it was. So I should be able to do this with no problem, especially on the shade of pink that this is. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna use a little bit of baking soda, some more developer, Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo, and some Dawn Lish Liquid. And some Dawn Lish Liquid. Did I say Lish Liquid? <laughs> And some Dawn dish liquid, okay? Now basically, all you're supposed to do is equal parts of all of it, put it in your hair, let it process, and it's supposed to strip the color, no damage. I don't know about the damage part, we'll see. Um, Cause developer still is like an actual chemical that does change things with your hair, that's why you mix it with the bleach. But at this point, I have exhausted all options. I don't know what else to do to get my hair lifted. I mean, it did okay, but I want the pink out. And I literally just saw somebody go from like a deeper pink, not really neon to blonde. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Now, I've seen people use the blue, Dawn dish detergent, dish liquid, but um, I ain't got that, I got green, so hopefully it comes out. If anything, it'll neutralize the pink, so. And this is how you use a full bottle of developer. Come in, babe, mm. come in, babe, come in, babe. Mm. Cause this developer almost gone, so I'm assuming the, 
the baking soda acts as like the lifter, the lightener. The dish detergent probably strips that stuff because baby, if it can strip a duck of oil, it should be able to strip some hair color. At this point, turn my hair purple. That means it's less work for me at the end. At this point, turn it purple because this is crazy. Everybody's like, oh yeah, I'm not even finished yet. This already turning. Well, why isn't mine turning? But even with the orange, I bleached it to blonde, so it should still come out. Like, I'm so confused. I am so confused. Like, why is it still pink? And of course, I forgot to bring a freaking plastic cap in here. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck going to get one of those. <sighs> so, it has been about 35 minutes. And as you can see, my hair is so freaking pink. I'm so confused. I don't even know. But at this point, um, I'm over it at this point. I'm not going to lie. I am feeling a little discouraged. However, the only thing that's keeping me pushing right now and getting on here and not sounding sad is because literally five minutes ago to this minute that I'm talking, I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos when I dyed my hair blue. Like literally, if I can show y'all, I'm going to show y'all. So thank you for building me a little bit more confidence in this process. Cause literally, like I told y'all, this is the same color that I started with when I went blue the first time and everybody freaking loved that color. So all I'm about to do now is just say to hell with this pink. We're about to tone the roots and we're gonna apply this color on top of what we got. I'm just ready to be done at this point because there's no way this should have taken this long. So yeah, all I'm doing now is about to just tone. Now that I finished toning, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to put the rest of the toner down on my hair because I want to. If I want to, I will. I don't know. I don't really care at this point. But hopefully, it knocks out the warmth to it and makes it a cool pink. You know. So after we let this process, I am gonna apply this color because we've been doing this too long. It's not a bad pink. It's like a pale pink. So. I'm cool with it, even though I still want it to go blonde. I wanted all of this out. I wanted it to be the same color as my roots like this before I did this next color. But it is what it is, and we were just about to go ahead and get started with that. So the colors I'm going to use today, y'all already know I always do semi-permanent when I change my hair color because it's easier to change, but apparently not pink. I'm going to be doing these two colors today, the one... 72 baby blue and the 174 sapphire blue y'all already know i mix my colors with conditioner i am going to add my ash tape conditioner and some k18 see what had happened was um my camera died so i had to charge my battery while i applied the hair color therefore there's no footage of me coloring my hair but i do want to let you guys know that this color here was actually used on my roots and then the two colors that i showed y'all earlier i mixed together and put it on my mid shaft to my ends it's really nothing to it i have tons of videos on my channel showing me how i actually apply my color anyway so if you want to check out videos of me actually showing you guys me doing it then they're on my channel unfortunately it just didn't make the cut for this video i just wanted to tell y'all that before y'all beat me up in the comments but rest assured y'all will see in a few seconds how it came out y'all i am so happy i am so proud of myself like i was stressed filming this video like i was so stressed i literally had to do like three to four processes and I didn't think I was gonna get my blue. So I'm super excited that it turned out so good. Literally the first day after I colored my hair, I got so many compliments when I went outside, like so many, literally like soon as I went outside. So that just made me feel so good. If y'all see me in person, thank y'all so much for the compliments because I was very discouraged doing this video. I didn't think it was gonna come out cute. I didn't even think it was gonna come out blue at all because I had that pink underneath. But baby, that color said, to hell with the pink, we're doing blue. Like, 
I am so happy. Look at this. It's so cute. I love that like it's deep at the root and it's light at the ends. I'm so sorry I didn't get to show y'all how I did the color, but like I literally took my time and applied this color and it came out perfect to me it's just so cute it looks like water on my head honestly now i know some of y'all gonna be like girl drop the tutorial for the hair because it's so cute this hairstyle was cute this is the vision that i had in my hair for this color and i'm so glad that it turned out so cute like this is uh, one of the cutest hair colors and then like the little curls that i added here just to kind of bring the top together so freaking cute but like i said i didn't film a video for this yet but i really hope y'all enjoyed this video today thank y'all so 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 much for watching and or coming back if you are not new here i promise i promise this time i have a lot of content coming it was just the hair you know like when the hair is not done you just i'm a little off when my hair ain't done i'm just i'm sorry but anywho i'm not gonna hold y'all long I already held y'all long enough thank y'all so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye